Some people refer to spiritual abuse as an umbrella term. Some folks will say that it is only an umbrella term. I don't necessarily believe that. It can be its own form of abuse when God and the Bible are used to shame, to coerce, to manipulate, to cause harm. But an example of a way that spiritual abuse can be an umbrella term is an article that I put, just posted on my website about how the Bible and God were used to justify child physical abuse. When spiritual abuse is an umbrella term, it means that other forms of abuse fall under it and it justifies other types of abuse. And the article is an example of that. I've also heard spiritual abuse described as a gateway abuse, that if you are shaming people with the Bible and using God to justify manipulation and coercion, then it's not going to be very long before you start to see other forms of abuse show up. And I've definitely seen that happen in real life.